Mm -hmm. So I had the opportunity to do a set walk of a show that TTT will be releasing soon. Mixed up. In addition, yeah, in partnership with Film TT, it's called Mixed Up. Oh so we God. went down to the studios yesterday and we were able to meet some of the cast and crew. I can't give out all the names, but I know that... Um, That's the this... show that Richard Ragobas is yeah, exactly. showrunner. So he's the showrunner mm -hmm. and the content creator. And that would have uh, come out of a call, and I'm sure if you guys remembered, we had issued a call for content and uh, a list was shortlisted in terms of writers. One writer was successful, that is Richard Ragobas Singh, and so now they are producing his show. Oh my so gosh. it's called Mixed Up. It is a, it's going to be a 30-minute uh, segment, give or take 20, 25, with ads included. It's going to be a sitcom uh, filmed inside a studio like you would normally see with all the other shows, um, let's say Two and a Half Men, that sort of thing. No laugh track, no live audience, but of course the, the, the humor will be built into the program. And I spoke to Richard and he was, he was talking about that. He wanted the humor to be built into the program. And basically what the show is about is about like when cultures and diversity mm -hmm. collide because it's, it's, it's an Indo-Trinidadian wife, an Afro-Trinidadian husband, uh, some ethnically mixed children, as we would say, lo locally Douglas, yeah. right? And of course, they are, are backed by some conservative mothers. Of course, uh, <laughs> Penelope Spencer is one of the, the, the grandmothers of the family. And so we look forward to see just, you know, some of the issues that can come up with it. There I am interviewing, of course, director Nigel Thompson, who is uh, at the helm of the project. So good morning to everybody who works on the project. It was amazing meeting with you guys yesterday. I spoke to the CEO, uh, acting CEO, Christoph Braffitt, and he wasn't able to confirm exactly when we're going to be seeing it on our screens, but he hoped that we could be seeing it before the year is out. So we look forward to see that sitcom coming from TTT. It was such a teaser. So I saw that it dropped on social media mm -hmm. yesterday. Finally, their Instagram account dropped. I saw tr um, the Trinidad and Tobago Performing Arts Network. They shared it. And it's like, finally. But it's great to see some of our greats as well that mm -hmm. we are all familiar with. And I think I just spotted Saran as well on the screen. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming to the table. And mm -hmm. some new talent is coming out as well that yeah. I'm very excited to see. We were actually we, we actually stopped in when they were doing rehearsals. So I saw a little bit of like a five minute teaser of what's coming and it really touches on some important issues such as race of course, um, touching all, also on you know the old and how they can sometimes influence their younger children and stuff like that. So it's a really good thing to look forward to. And you know it, it, it just reminds me of a conversation I had recently with the lady who I met uh, up in Trin City. I think she, she did a video and she was saying how she shot the show. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she was, was Humphrey. Humphrey was her surname. Yeah. She was saying that, you know, what she appreciates about TTT is, you know, when we show like the turn of the tide and, you mm -hmm. know, boundaries and that kind of thing. And this show reminds me of those of those times when we used to create that level yeah. of content to be able to have it on this place. So I'm happy that we're getting back to that place. And I look forward to seeing it uh, unfold as well.